Ready? One of my earliest childhood memories is my father teaching me to pray. I was about four or five years old at the time. My mother and younger brother lived in St. Louis during my parents' temporary separation while dad and I shared a two-bedroom apartment in Chicago with my parents, my Uncle Bill, and my cousin, Rose. Every night before I went to sleep, dad would lead me in what is known as the Lord's Prayer. I would carefully repeat the words after him. One night, I jumped into bed, anxiously waiting for Dad to start praying. Instead, he told me to go ahead and pray. I was terrified. I said, Dad, I don't know how to pray. He said, Son, prayer is just talking to God. Just talk to Him the same way you talk to me. Our prayer time was very important to Him. Eventually, it became the highlight of my day as well. I have discovered that prayer is just communicating with God. By communicating, I mean it is a two-way conversation. Yes, God talks to us as well. However, instead of seeking a relationship with him, we sometimes try to turn God into a sugar daddy. We are so busy begging him for stuff or surrounding ourselves with noise that we cannot hear him. If you read my first two books, you know that I spent a lot of time in trouble. I was a drug addict, an alcoholic, a con man, a liar, and a thief. I went to prison several times. I didn't realize it at the time but even when I was at the lowest point of my life, God still loved me. Although I had forsaken him, he had never forsaken me. This is the message that I try to convey to everyone. It is a message of hope. Too many people have given up on themselves. They look at their situations and wonder, does anyone really care about them? There was a song that I heard many years ago, and I still remember some of the words. It says, in a mansion made of stone, in a shanty all alone, God cares, God cares, he cares for you. Whether black or white, you are precious in his sight. God cares, God cares, he cares for you. It doesn't matter what you have done or what you have become, God loves you. You can be sitting on top of the world or sitting in a prison cell, God still loves you. And he not only loves you, he really cares about you. This book is not a lesson on how to pray. The purpose of this book is to help you to realize the importance of having a relationship with God. When you are ready for God, he is ready for you. It doesn't matter if you are in the White House, the Church House, or the Crack House. He's only a prayer away. Reverend Burton Barr Jr., author of He's Only a Prayer Away, Nine Examples of Praying Until Your Breakthrough, Amazing Grace, The Storm is Passing Over, and The Hoodlum Preacher. Books in stores now. For more information, visit cobaltbooks.com and thehoodlumpreacher.com.